Hello everyone, welcome to Biologically in Business. My name is Bio, and today we'll be playing some Starbound. I was just playing on my character and I thought, hey, might as well start recording. Yeah, that's why this is kind of sudden in the middle of whatever I'm doing. But that's kind of one of my things in my channel. I'm pretty damn spontaneous on what I do when I start recording. That's just kind of the thing. And it's just how I prefer it. Anyway, yeah, we're playing some Starbound. Um, so, let's get started. Uh, I'm not sure how much commentary I'm going to do exactly on role playing Starbound. I'm going to be doing some, but not as much as other games like Elite Dangerous or Tales of Majahal. It really depends on the game how much commentary I actually do. Oh, and remember in last video how I said that I was not going to do the Outer Worlds? Well, that was under the assumption that I had to talk, like, a lot, and, like, I didn't really feel like talking a lot while doing it. But then I was like, well, I mean, I could just record the gameplay and talk a little when I want to, because, you know, I'm doing this for fun. So, yeah, why the fuck not? Anyway. I think this matter manipulator thing is cool. It's definitely a, a unique thing that makes it a bit. Uh, I don't fall down there. Uh, that differentiates it from Terraria. And I fell down. Which one of the pods? I'm back down here with these guys. Yeah, I remember I was down here before. enemies started showing up. I think they maybe start showing up at a certain depth. At least on the starting planet. Actually, maybe I should switch the um, flashlight with the rope. I mean, um, you'll, you'll see. Until I got the grappling hook. And I won't have to constantly be making rope. I forgot to switch over my old save file uh, when I moved my stuff from my, my old computer, so I had to start the new game. But I mean, I guess that's better for videos anyway. I haven't even gotten past the first planet, so it's. I mean, it's not like. You're missing that much. It's 
Sorry, we're back. I just had to take care of something. I guess I could skip that coal. Right, I wanted to get back to the wars up there. There was a lot of iron. Nice, nice, made it. <coughs> eh, good enough, I guess. Yeah, I'm saving those for like when I get the fossil digging kit and stuff. I could just mine them for bones, but there's a there's better way to get bones and not wasting a fossil site. Ooh, gold, nice. as an apex which is basically uh, genetically modified humans that are like more ape like kind of like planet of the apes but if they went on to do their own thing and formed a totalitarian state It's a good one. Those things can either be bad or good, or really bad or really good. Mm, is it worth it to use this? Yeah, whatever, I got the coal. Oh wow, okay, that's a lot. Technically there are guns in Terraria, but they're not sci-fi. Right? There aren't grenade launchers and assault rifles in Terraria. I know that. Rocket launchers. Terraria is a really great game. Especially, especially the way it is now when it's like completely fully done. I'm just playing, I, I just like to play Starbound because it's, it's sci-fi and it's easier than Terraria. Well, in some respects. Each game has its own things that are harder and easier. I like that in this game you rarely run out of things. So that you can like explore more freely and stuff. This one, the character models are four blocks tall instead of three. 
Oh, yeah, also I have the anime uh, looking mod on that makes a lot of the characters like have anime eyes and look a lot more anime and cute looking. I also have a critter critter capture mod on um, that enhances the critter capture thing. The bug net and stuff. But those are the only two mods I have on. I know I've said it in other videos but wondering how long to make videos. Um, I fucking forgot to set a timer because this was so spontaneous. So this might be a long video. said this but yeah remember how last video I said I wasn't gonna do the outer worlds oh wait no I already have yep okay I just remembered I did say this already I just can be scatterbrained sometimes. I don't have an actual memory problem. There's like a Pokemon capture mechanic in this game where it's actually completely separate from the critter capture mechanic. Like the critter capture mechanic is like a for passive tiny critters that you can like put in your ship because some of them look cool. And the actual monster capture mechanic is where you get like a literal fucking Pokeball and uh, you can capture uh, enemies in it use them it's and like there are the randomly generated enemies and then there are the specific um certain set enemies uh, some some of those are really damn cool and there's this exploit where one of them when it um dies it turns into two um it splits into two monsters and if you capture uh, one of them, it reverts back to the whole monster in the in the Pokeball thing, so it can technically like never die. It's not really an exploit, but it's like a, a clever use of mechanics, I guess. Oh, I hope there's a chest here.
Yes, they make the bombs look like bombs, which is funny. Why does that always happen in the first time? Ah, yes, a chest. I was right. Did look like a place I would have a chest. Oh, I learned to craft it. Cool. Mini manipulator module. That's good. I'll take the chest. I'm gonna do a bit more exploring than in the video, and then the next video uh, for Starbound will be doing the mission that I have to do. You may have noticed this up here. Yeah, there are special, like, instanced missions that you do for story, which is cool. There's a whole story mission thing. Earth was invaded, and you're one of the last surviving, I think they're called, like, caretakers or something. You're the only people that get to have manipulator modules, or manipulator, matter manipulators. And you escaped. And you have to like save save the world or save the galaxy from something from 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 the all the tentacles that invaded Earth. <gasps> wow. Okay. I haven't. Wow. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Actually, honestly, I forgot they existed in the game since I haven't played them so long. Diamonds. Come on. Matter manipulator can get anything. Which is nice. But well, I'm gonna loot those first. Before I forget, or fall down a hole that will be way too hard to get out of, let's do that challenge room. Hopefully I don't die. Oh, yeah, and get whatever this is. It's nothing. Okay. Now I will make sure I'm at full health. But I will use this instead of using a medical thing because I am in a safe looking area. Since it's probably going to take a while, I'm just going to skip. And we are back. Let's do the challenge room. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh. oh I don't have that ball thing. The Metroid ball thing that I can... Oh shit. No. Shit. Yes, yes, yes! Ah, <laughs> nice! 
Okay, so we got a boomerang. Nice. Uh, we got a spear that is not as good as this. Yeah, that's all, but I'm sure there was some other stuff that I forgot, but <sighs> boomerang. Nice, nice, nice. Wait, I thought I just saw... No, that's just... What is that? Ah, it's a gold ore that looked really weird like a mushroom. Oh shit, I'm getting toward... What is this? No, nothing. I see that there's lava near here and weird effects. Going down here. Okay, gotta be real, gotta be real careful. Those are like core fragments, which are good for stuff. Getting those ones over there, that's way too fucking risky. Oh, unexpected iron. else I like in this game is that you can basically teleport out of any part of the entire game except like I'm guessing specific sections that you can't but like, you can be down into the center of the planet like I am now and still teleport out which is really useful really great Diamond up there, so I'm gonna, gonna get that and then teleport. Just to make sure there's no other diamonds. Oh, there's some gold. Nice. Cool. 
All right. Uh, next video, we'll smelt all these ores. Let's see what we can make and do the mission and maybe some other stuff. I'll see you next time. This has been Bio from Biologically in Business. Again, see you next time.